Hi everyone, I hope you're having a lovely Christmas. I am uh, pre-recording this, so I hope right now I'm also having a lovely, relaxing time. Um, so I want to do something a little bit creative. And so here I have the foil quill in the standard tip, which is the freestyle pan. So I thought I'll do the unpacking together with you and see how we get on. So you can get loads of beautiful stuff done with this neat little pen. Um, like I said before, it comes in different sizes of the nib and I will plug it into my computer, get all the everything off it. And so it's a USB cable. That's my computer over here. So you can't put it into a socket. So let's see how that goes. Okay, it's now plugged in and this little light has gone on. There you go. So it means that it's heating up. Now I'm trying it for the first time. So I don't know how long it needs to be heat it up for but I'm just going to leave it here and I'm going to get my I've got a silicone mat somewhere right so I can't find a heat mat but I don't think I really need it right now it's sort of like a Bermuda triangle here um, I absolutely have to organize things so yes yeah, so I don't think there's going to be that much heat coming off and so I've got like a protective mat actually a few things here there's some protective mats underneath and this is a paper so um, and that's a paper obviously that we're going to work on it should be okay like I'm not going to damage the desk underneath if that makes sense and one thing I want to do is um, it's set to heat up for five minutes reading briefly in the instructions it's been kind of almost five minutes I'd say maybe in a minute or two it will be five minutes you can feel that it's hot here or like it's not hot it's warm uh, I'm not going to touch the tip because I know that a couple of people have done it accidentally and they burned their skin. So it is meant to be hot, but yeah, I'm not doing that. Um, so this roll is super cute. Very, very small. I'm going to try and do something on a stencil. Now, these are the Tim Holtz and I heard someone said that they don't get damaged. Um, I want to try it. And I'm going to use it first of all on this one. Actually, why not? No, this one is like my favorite one is the lace. So I'm going to do it on the heart one and see whether that is true because it's plastic and it's fairly thin plastic. So I can't imagine that it's not going to be damaged. So let me just uh, try doing it on a little bit of a corner. No. I mean, it scratches it, but it doesn't like melt it. Even if I hold it for a few seconds, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so let's see. So I'm going to pick out the lace. And I'm going to get this sheet out. So this foil is super, super fiddly, super, super thin. And the way I've seen this done before is that people recommend to stick it to the surface that you're working on. So what I would do is to not have any vase stitch. I'm just going to cut the right size of it. like so it's very fiddly indeed even cutting it to the right size is a bit of a mission because it just tends to roll up so I'm not sure if you would enjoy it if you don't like fiddly <laughs> projects but there you go so I'm just going to leave it like that and then I have some washi tape here so I'm just going to place my paper so that it stays in place and I'm going to do the same on here. Oh, I already 
So try not to touch the this little sticky bit on the foil because that is likely to damage it a little bit. There are also different colors of this foil so you can shop around and find something that you really like. So the key here is to have it as flat as possible like that. So you prepared your area. Now we're going to put the stencil just here. So this definitely has been more than five minutes and I'm going to go over here somewhere and do like a little corner first. See if that works. Okay, so there's something at the back here, which is working. Okay, so let's try and do bigger images now. So where there are very small areas, you'll struggle to get in because of the nib being rather thick. I don't know if, if you would want to get a smaller one. Personally, when I saw demos, I didn't like the small nib because I felt that it kind of looked a little bit too scratchy and too fine. But of course, it depends what you like doing. So with the very small areas, I'm just dotting the nib in there. like so. With the large areas I would probably try to line it out without going in the middle but to be honest with you it's hard not to because of the chunky nib so it does look like you can go in and fill in the entire area and I'm going to do it here. It probably would be a great idea to also use a little bit of washi tape on your um, stencil so that you can lift it and find it right back where it was. So like that and I can start seeing something here. Okay I'm just going to continue um, it's a lovely little thing to add a bit of pizzazz to your art making, to your journal pages, for sure it's loads of fun, so it's a great idea, it's a new product that was designed by um, We Are Memory Keepers this year in 2019 and um, early in the, in the year I think I've seen it being demoed at that big crafts arts and crafts show that you have in America that I drool over every year which in fact it's January or February comes out so looking forward to see what other new products there will be but the point is um, I wish the pan this is exactly what I thought I might not like before I even bought it. It's a little bit too thick here and I understand that the technology had to be fit somewhere. It's obviously a pan so um, they couldn't probably make it too small. But the fact that it's such a big kind of clunky bit here makes it a little bit difficult to get into some areas or see exactly what you're doing. Um, so that's my only criticism for it. It seems to work nicely. I'm not getting any heat here, which I was worried about that I would find it quite uncomfortable. Unless I'm going right to the tip, I wouldn't recommend it. But where I'm holding it here, it's very, very comfortable. And what I love about it is that it's not melting the plastic. Um, it seems to be relatively hot. I can feel a lot of heat coming off it. But somehow it's not melting the stencil which is just brilliant because if you think of it 
thin plastic like this, especially with so much detail, you'd imagine that you could easily ruin it with a bit of heat, like melt it or something. So there you go. I'm just going to do a little bit more. I can see the battery is now starting to flash. And let's now lift it and have a look what we have here. So we have some sort of resemblance of a nice little lace pattern and it does look very neat. So it's got the brush, the like the pen marks on there and yeah. I think it's a neat little idea. So I'm going to carry on and then uh, enjoy this process. I'm going to try to line it up again. Okay, so off camera I have now finished um, working through this stencil. And of course I have picked a very, very delicate um, stencil. If you pick something that has bigger marks on it, it'll be a lot faster and a lot easier. And you will be able to get through in every like area of it so in some of the very tiny little dots I struggle to go through with the nib but if I had the fine one now I'm thinking <laughs> maybe I should order the fine one but anyways I find that if you order these pens separate uh, versus the big set it still ends up cheaper than buying the entire set so I don't feel like you're saving anything by buying all three pens if you know for sure like me you wouldn't use the broad one uh, the broad tip so make sure you plug it out so that the pan cools down when you've finished i'm not going to do that just yet uh, but i just wanted to show you what it looks like now and if there are some sort of areas that are that i could finish um i could do that like if i'm seeing that there was a flower and I couldn't get through those dots, then I just would, sort of would do it um, by hand after that. And now let's do the reveal. That is very, very pretty. So there you go. That's super pretty. So I would totally use this in an art journal. Um, and yeah, it looks very pretty. So I'm really impressed. I'm going to have loads of fun with it. So you can save, I would save this little bit of paper and just wherever there is still gold left, I could go around and kind of do a little bit of uh, detailing, but that's just me. I don't like throwing things out when they're not fully used. So that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. And oh, my desk is now, has loads of little gold bits in there. So yeah, loads of fun, this little tool. I would highly recommend it. Thanks for watching and see you soon.